Are you wondering what the cost of living is like in Lake Chapala? Is it really getting as expensive as some people say? You're about to find out. Hello YouTube fans and welcome to Retire in Lake Chapala, where we provide you with all the information you need to make informed decisions about moving to Lake Chapala. One of the most important considerations you need to make uh, when moving down here is how much it's going to cost you. And this is one of the topics we cover uh, in our retirement seminar in depth uh, when you take care of program. All the figures I gave you today will be in US dollars and uh, will not cover any trips abroad. So no trips to the beach or no trips uh, by airplane. It'll strictly be regarding living here for 12 months of the year. Uh, the figures are for a couple, two people, uh, living um, with two cars and two cell phones in Lake Chapala. Uh, in the description below, I'm going to put some uh, links uh, from Jerry Brown's videos and Matty Gold videos, um, which also cover cost of living. I think they should be referenced uh, so you can look at other people's cost of living and come to some sort of uh, terms as to what you might be spending down here. Um, the more cost of living videos you look at, I think the better. So, but these are our figures and we're gonna get started right now. So our first category is food, dining, and house supplies. So this is be everything that Michaela and I eat and uh, house supplies like brooms, mops, uh, and soaps and suds, that sort of thing. We're running at uh, $700, 700 US dollars per month. And obviously the big variable here is how much we go to eat. Um, typically breakfasts are now six to eight dollars. Uh, lunch is the same, six to eight dollars. And dinners are running about eight to fifteen dollars. Uh, drinks uh, being extra for that. Um, you're going to find that this, this for us, uh, we go up maybe twice a week and uh, $700 uh, covers us nicely for everything we eat. Entertainment is a second category. Entertainment, we don't do a lot of entertaining um, or go out to many things. Unfortunately, we'd like to, but uh, we're just too darn busy. Uh, but I've only put down $30 here for entertainment. You might uh, double, triple or quadruple that figure. But just to give you an example, um, concerts in the park at the Lake Chapala Society are uh, $15. And tickets at the Lakeside Little Theatre are $17.50. So, uh, you know, we might get to a concert in the park once every month or two, and that takes care of our $30. Um, lots of other events going on. Many of them, of course, are free to watch, and uh, that may be a, a figure that uh, you'll need to play with a little bit. But uh, for us, $30 covers us per month. The next one is car is for the cars. So for both our cars, uh, car insurance, uh, gas, repairs, and uh, pollution or emissions control, which is also here in Guadalajara, all need to be taken into account. My final figure for this is $110 per month per car. So $220 for the two of us for two cars. How do I arrive at this figure? Well, we just uh, did our insurance not long ago and uh, each of us paid $390 uh, per year for our car insurance. Uh, there's an annual car tax, which we need to pay in January, February. And it was $32. I just rounded that figure up to $35 for easy calculation. And it's likely going to go up a little bit next year anyways. Then there is emissions control. Uh, that's $25. Uh, you need to take your car into Guadalajara to do that. We don't have the time and don't want to spend the time to do that. So we hire someone to take our car in for us. And uh, they take it in for $50. And it's about a six hour, five, six hour round trip. Uh, to do all the processing and uh, get the car smog checked for the year. So uh, $75 goes in that category. And then there's repairs. Well, repairs, of course, are high, highly variable. Um, I looked back through several years of receipts and I came up with a figure of $300 per year per car. Uh, mechanics aren't that expensive here and uh, you can have your car worked on 
and repaired fairly inexpensively. And then, of course, there's gas. Uh, driving around here locally, we go through about a tank a month. You know, the distances here are not big. Uh, the big car uh, takes uh, 1,000 pesos, about $50, and the small car takes 800 pesos when it's empty, about uh, $40. So I averaged out to $45 a month per car, and that brought me up to the figure of $110 per month per car. Okay, we got our TV. What do we do for TV content? There's lots of options. Most of the options are in the $25 or $30 range. Uh, we personally subscribe to Netflix at $15. It's 299 pesos a month. And uh, we also subscribe to uh, IPTV at $25 a month. There are other choices, of course. There's Lakeside TV. There is uh, Clear Choice. There's other choices. Clear Choice is $30 a month. But for us, uh, 25 and 15 makes $40 a month for our TV content. Then we have uh, cell phones and our house uh, IP address, our house internet. Uh, $45 per month for that. Um, I know you Canadians are shaking your head by now because you guys pay through the roof for your uh, utilities. But here's our breakdown on that. The house phone uh, internet is $25 per month. Um, you get a phone number with that. We don't even use it. Uh, but, uh, of course, we have streaming, um, internet, and uh, high-speed fiber optic internet at $25 per month. And I also include our cell phones in this figure at $10 per month. We pay $10 for a cell phone, 200 pesos. It gives us unlimited calling to the United States and Canada as well as uh, two gigabytes of data and that's more than we ever use and uh, you can imagine we use our phones pretty hard so total cost here $45 that's the two cell phones at $10 and $25 for the home uh, internet then we have uh, medical dental uh, that sort of thing so uh, again a highly variable thing but for us I figured on $50 per month um, how do I arrive at this figure? Well, just look at some examples. Uh, we do our annual blood urine tests. That is uh, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 pesos. So I put in $60 for that per year. Uh, doctor's visits, uh, we'll go after, after the tests and see the doctor and discuss the results, uh, $40. You can do cheaper for doctors. You can get down to $10 for doctors at the pharmacies. Um, or even less. Uh, but figure on 30 to 40 dollars for a doctor's visit for most doctors. Uh, another example is a colonoscopy that was uh, 600 dollars. And uh, also there's, well, one example, another example is an emergency visit I had with some of my clients. Uh, he had his head examined because uh, he fell over backwards in a chair and uh, he had a CAT scan of his head, uh, visited by two doctors in the emergency room, $225. These are some examples, but for us, we're paying about $50 uh, per month, and that includes your dental too. I didn't talk about dental yet, but dental, we're paying now $40 for a cleaning, and um, of course, major dental work is quite inexpensive, $1,500 to $2,500 will get you some uh, pretty serious dental work done. Uh, then there's house utilities. House utilities, so this is gas, electric, uh, home repairs, and uh, I'm including the gardener and maid in here as well. So total cost here is $275. And uh, how do I break that down? I break that down by uh, gas. Let's look at gas first. We do, we have a 300 liter gas tank, which runs our uh, stove and hot water heater and dryer and uh, we fill it up three times a year and for for 140 dollars per fill so that's 420 dollars for the year averages out to 35 dollars per month for gas uh, gas prices have fluctuated a little bit we were paying a bit more it was up to 14 pesos um, a little while ago, but now the last time we filled up it was nine point something pesos. 
so it's uh, reduced significantly. Uh, electricity is another one. Um, we put in solar panels now, so our solar panel bill is zero, but I'm going to look at this as what most people would have without solar panels. Uh, $480 per year, uh, average of $40 per month for electricity. Uh, most electricity bills are in that $25 to $75 range. So I drew a line in the middle and averaged it out to $40 and that would be a very safe estimate for most people um, if you don't have a pool. Maid and gardener, uh, they're $5 an hour each, and of course it depends how many times you have them in and how many hours they work. Uh, we have our maid come in uh, for six hours at uh, $5 an hour, so that's $30 a week. And uh, we have our gardener come in uh, for four hours at $5, so that's $20 a week, total of $50 a week or $200 per month. So that brings us up to the uh, $275. Uh, moving right along into the miscellaneous category. This could be anything. I, I kind of threw stuff in there. Personal items, uh, clothing, gym, yoga, massages, pickleball, uh, tennis, you know, anything you do it may cost a little bit of money here and there or anything you buy will cost a little bit of money here and there. So uh, some examples of this, uh, Michaela likes to go for a massage at uh, Total Body Care, it's $30. Uh, yoga, you know, five to 750. Uh, running shirts at Walmart, that sort of thing, $5. So I put in $150 and I think that's uh, ample in there. And I've thrown in $100 for anything I may have missed. Um, this is generous. Um, other, my other cost of living uh, figures that I did years ago, I put in $50. So I've taken a little less, uh, I'm a little less exact these days since I was since 2020. I was very exact up until that time. In the last couple of years, I've sort of uh, calmed down a little bit. Uh, so I'm throwing in $100 per month uh, just for mis miscellaneous items. And uh, this brings us to a grand total of $1,610 per month. And if you look at the other videos I'm going to have down in the description, you'll see that the figures are pretty close to what other people are running. Uh, of course, now this doesn't include rent, um, so let's have a look at that. Rents, of course, vary all over the place. Uh, you can rent as little as $300 up to $2,000 or more. Um, I've drawn the line at an average of uh, $1,200, and that would be a very generous uh, figure for most. Some people may go 15, but I think 1,200 is an excellent average to look at for these purposes. If I take the 1610 and add $1,200 per month, I'm going to come to $2,750 uh, USD per month for a couple with two cars. A grand total of $33,720 for the year. So uh, maybe take a look and compare that to what you're paying now in the United States or Canada. Of course, if you own your own home, uh, things are a bit different. You're going to start with that base rate of $1,610. And you're going to add some different uh, things. You're going to add property tax. Property tax, uh, I put down $300 per year, and that's a... Uh, that's, a, that's an average, uh, so $25 per month. And uh, water runs about the same, uh, $300 per year, uh, $25 per month. Then we've also got uh, HOA fees, perhaps. Uh, if you're in a gated community, you'll have some uh, homeowners association fees. And I'm putting in an average here of $75 per month for that. Of course, if you own an independent home, you won't have that at all. And then, of course, there are home repairs. This will cover a lot of things, home repairs. It'll cover big things in the future that you need to do, painting the walls, uh, roof repairs, which we do once every four or five years, and, uh, you know, buying hoses for the garden, uh, plants for the garden, um, fixing little electrical things uh, or plumbing items, that sort of thing. I put in $125 per month for that, and I think that's a really accurate uh, figure for that. 
course, it'll depend on your home, but uh, that's, a, that's a figure you can work with. Grand total here in uh, this category is $250 per month. So you take that $250 per month and you add it on to the uh, 1610 and you get $1,860 uh, per month uh, if you own your own home and you have two cars. Grand total, uh, if you own your own home, $22,320 per year. So uh, it does make good economic sense to own your own home uh, versus renting. Of course, there's advantages and disadvantages to renting, and you can read a lot about that in my website, on my blogs, and uh, on some of my videos, YouTube videos that I've done all as well. So uh, invest two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You can save eleven thousand four hundred dollars per year, um, which is quite significant. It works out to nine hundred and fifty dollars a month, so almost a thousand dollars per month if you own your own home versus renting. Uh, the one big thing I've left out of here is uh, medical insurance. Medical insurance, of course, is highly variable. There's you really have three options for medical insurance, and I can get into that on another video, but either you pay as you go, um, you get something like SkyMed to get you back to your Medicare in the United States, or you, uh, you get Mexican uh, medical insurance, and that can run uh, depending on your pre-existing, depending on your age, uh, $4,000 to $7,000 per year. So uh, there are options, but I've left that out and that's something else you need to consider is how you're going to pay for your medical care. So take these figures and uh, apply them to what you think your cost of living will be here. And certainly have a look at those other videos as well. And uh, this will give you a very, very accurate uh, indication of how much it'll cost to live in Lake Chapala. I want to thank you very much for walking, uh, watching and uh, you know, if you're interested in one of our retirement seminars, uh, they're personal, they're personalized to you, and you just need to get, get a hold of us and arrange for a date and come on down and we'll show you everything you need to know about Lake Chapala and about moving to Lake Chapala. So thanks for watching again and uh, we'll see you next time. And live your best life in Lake Chapala.